Welcome to the morecalculators.com tutorial for the credit card calculator. At morecalculators.com we have over 20 different free calculators to help you with buying a car, buying a home, renting a home, estimating your taxes, making a budget, calculating your income, and investing in real estate. We invite you to try our calculators today at morecalculators.com. Now to get to the credit card calculator, first you go to our homepage here, and then scroll until you see the credit card calculator. Once you see it, go ahead and click on it. And you'll see we've now switched over, credit card calculator. Now this is very simple. All you need to do is enter your lender, the amount, and the interest rate. The amount would be the amount you owe to the credit card. Now, we've probably done a little bit of overkill here, but we have many lenders that you can enter. Hopefully you don't have this many lenders, but they're available. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and fill these out for our example, and then we'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. You'll see here we've entered five lenders into our calculator. We've entered amounts that we owe, and we've entered interest rates. Now, we're ready to get our calculations. So you scroll, and we have a disclaimer here, so let's go ahead and check off the disclaimer. Scroll down a little bit more. And then basically, click on the submit button. Now, it gives you a credit card calculator report. What this does is it lines up all your lenders, puts in your current principal, which is what you owe now, that's basically what you entered, an interest rate, an annual yield, average monthly interest, annual interest, and then your principal after one year. Now, because credit cards compound, the interest rate that you enter will be different than the actual interest rate that you're going to be charged because it compounds every month. It could compound more frequently or less frequently, but we've gone with a month. Okay, so after the first month, then basically the interest rate would be charged on a new balance. So how that's represented, you see we have the $23.99 for the first. The yield is basically what is the interest that you actually paid divided by what you owe. So that's how we came up with that 26.81 in the first blank. It's a little bit different and as you can see a little bit higher than the interest rate because of compounding. So basically we've added all these guys up and then at the bottom there's a total and then we'll go over here average monthly interest is totaled up uh, average annual interest is totaled up and then your principal after one year is totaled up. Now this bottom yield, the 19.33%, what that is, is the yield on all of the money that you've paid out in interest, okay? So that'd be your 32.87 divided by the 17.005, okay? So what that's determining is the yield that you've paid across all of your debt, okay? Now, that's the credit card calculator report. One more important thing is the credit card calculator assumes you're not making payments, okay? It's a zero payment. So if you do make payments, then of course it'll probably be a little bit lower, but this assumes that you're not making payments um, on the debt. It just assumes that it's going to grow, okay? So that's an important assumption that the credit card calculator has made. Now, if you have questions for us at morecalculators.com, just go to our homepage and then scroll until you see the morecalculators.com help center. Click on that and then you'll be able to ask a question or leave a comment for us. 
Thank you very much and have a great day.